club. Uh, this is, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I mean, this, this place has made an enormous difference in the jazz scene in, in Charleston. And I've, this is my 12th year here. I've been very involved in the music scene, been on, on the board of directors, one of the founders of Charleston Jazz, which used to be called Jazz Artists of Charleston. And we produced the uh, Charleston Jazz Festival as well as the uh, Charleston Jazz Orchestra Concert Series. Um, but Forte, Forte, jazz, Forte Jazz Lounge uh, keeps the spirit alive uh, almost every day of the week. And even in these very difficult times of a, of a pandemic, uh, they have worked very, very hard uh, to keep the place open, and we're very grateful for that. We're also grateful for the, to their landlords, who have been just really terrific and rock and roll with them uh, to make sure that this place stays alive. It's very, very important. Um, you probably already know that the, uh, we have a, a wine and beer bar with uh, uh, soft drinks also in the back. Um, and I'm also proud to share with you that out of their dedication and love for jazz and their support of Forte uh, Jazz Lounge, none of the musicians you're going to hear tonight are taking any money from Forte Jazz Lounge. So, you know, yes, yes to the band. Um, so at this point, bring everybody out on, on stage. Um, usually we uh, introduce the musicians after a set, but I like doing it in the beginning, and in the middle, and at the end. Um, on piano, the magical, magical talent of Mr. Jonathan Lovett. <laughs> on, on bass, uh, one of the great all-time bass players in town, Mr. Brett Bellinger. On drums tonight, we have a, a young man that I've had the pleasure of hearing a number of times. He's played with a bunch of my friends, a magical, magical percussionist, Mr. Miller Boone. <laughs> and on trumpet and flugelhorn and, and a whole bunch of other stuff, uh, my very, very dear friend, Mr. Fred Young. <laughs> I want to give a, a shout out to uh, Another dear friend of mine who's here tonight celebrating her birthday, Jackie DePetis. Happy birthday, my dear. <laughs> and sitting in the back over there are two friends of mine that I haven't seen in too long of a period of time. I'm so happy they're here, Amy and Chris Niebuhr. Thank you. <laughs> and then sitting right up front here, uh, very dear to my heart, my brother Jeffrey and his wife Maxine. So with that, we're going to kick it off, sit back, enjoy your friends, enjoy the booze, and enjoy the jazz.
Mr. Fredra.
Mr. Bird family. dear, dear friend, Miss Alva Anderson. Yeah. 
Alvarez. West of the South, west of the boom. Let's build a dream. Thank you. Just incredible. While we're getting ready for Alva's next number, I just want to do a shout out to Alva's husband, Alan, who's home. Alan, we miss you. This is the last time you're allowed not to be here. And also a shout out to my dear cousin, Jimmy Newman, who has a good excuse because he's in St. Petersburg, Florida. Hiya, Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Alva Anderson. Thank you. And a shout out to Steve Simon, who is an incredible supporter of jazz. Um, ever since I moved here, I followed you at Bar Barca, and uh, I just I just appreciate your your support of his music. <laughs> this is called a Sunday kind of love. Sunday scheming every minute 
Miss Alvarez. Thank you.
the street. I want to dedicate this next song to my wife, Lynn. On Monday, we will be celebrating our second month anniversary. And I know that sounds a little, little strange, right? But at our age, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. And we're both very thankful. So happy anniversary, my love.
Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bobby Alvarez. Thank you so much. How about a hand for this band? Yeah! All right. Uh, we usually send this song out to uh, out of towners. <laughs> oh, well, there's some. Okay, cool. I sent this out to my daughter, Kim Deborah, who's been an avid New Yorker for most of her life. And now she lives in Savannah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
Cause I'm in a New York state of mind Mr. Bobby Alvarez. Thank you. Thanks so much. And I'm from New York too, by the way. Long time. This one goes out to my wife at home watching, I hope. Hiya, Mama. Time after time. you know my relationship with Bobby, but wherever I go with him, any place in this state, invariably, women come over to us. Not to me, to him. He said, you sang at my wedding. And I venture to say, there are more people still married because he sang at their wedding than people that he didn't sing at their wedding, right? 
But, you know, I'm married now, so this term doesn't have the same meaning. But walking around with Bobby is better than walking around with a little baby or a dog. He's a chick magnet. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, let's, let's, you know, we, we had a couple of weeks ago, we did A-Train as a ballad because I had heard it as a ballad. And it, and it very rarely gets played that way. But tonight we're going to play it the traditional way. Uh, and so just sit back, hold on, and get on to the A-Train.
dedicate this song. Normally when I perform this song over the years, I dedicate it to uh, a special woman in my life. And you all know who that special woman is. But there's another woman in all of our lives that I'm going to dedicate this song to, um, the United States of America. Let's do it. I can only give you love that lasts forever and a promise to be near each time you call. Say it's me that you adore for now and evermore. That's all. That's all. If you're wondering what I'm asking in return, dear, you'll be glad to know that my demands are small. Say it's me that you adore for now and evermore. That's all. ourselves the way we want to express ourselves. And that's all kind of personifies that for me. If you're wondering what I'm asking in return, dear, you'll be glad to know that my demands are small. Say it's me that you'll adore for now and even more. That's Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please vote. <laughs> Our last song of the set, and we're going to take a little break after that, is Sea Jam Blues. And the typical response we get from every musician in the band is always, what can you use it? So I can't ever remember. But anyways, let's do Sea Jam Blues or whatever Keith feels good.
trumpet, on flugelhorn, on pocket trumpet, Mr. Fredman. The only guy in my life that I know can sing through his fingers, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jonathan Lovett. bigger than him and amazingly talented. Give it up for Brett Bellinger. On drums, it's a joy to be on the same stage with him. This is the first time I've played with him. I've heard him play, watched him play, listened to him play for a number of years. Incredibly talented, Mr. Millibu. Simon, we are the Kings of Jazz, and we're going to take a little break, catch our breath, say hello to our friends, and we'll be back just in a few minutes.
So while we're getting ready for this uh, next, while we're getting ready for the next set, um, I just want Dean Smith, who's one of my dearest, closest friends, uh, asked me to invite all of you back to his house for <laughs> wine and cheese after this after the gig. The crunchy ones. So bear with me just a second. I should have done this during the break, but I was busy catching up with some friends. My friend, my friends uh, Chris and Amy are going to have to leave before the end of the f second set. Um, Chris is on a work release program, <laughs> so we don't want him to get any, we don't want him to get into any more trouble. <laughs> and I got to tell you guys, I miss you so much, and you live so close. Let's not make it this long next time. All right? I'll see you at uh, Dean's house after. <laughs> uh, let me see if this works. It works. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Miss Alvar Anderson. <laughs> I just realized Mr. Charleston's in the house. Cool, cool. <laughs> so, we're gonna start this tune with bass and vocal. Thank you. 
Thank you. By the way, When Sunny Gets Blue is not a political song. Last, time, last thing I heard, Sunny was an independent action. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, a few years ago, uh, 
Some of you probably know that uh, the Kings of Jazz played at Barca for nine straight years every Thursday. And, uh, you know, God willing, we'll be back there sometime after this uh, pandemic leaves us. But in the meantime, a few years back, uh, during one of the breaks at Barca, a gentleman came over to me and uh, introduced himself, and he said, uh, uh, can I sing a song with, with the band? And I said, yeah, of course you can. And I said, what would you like to sing? And he told me, and, uh, uh, and I said, what key? And he told me, and uh, I said, all right, let me, uh, in the next set, we'll, the band will warm up with one number, and then I'm gonna call you up. Um, and he came up and sang, and we couldn't let him off the stage. This guy just rocked the house. And I'm very, very proud to tell you that uh, as time went on, he and his wife and Lynn and I became very, very close friends, and I love him dearly. Ladies and gentlemen, Ronald, Mr. Charleston Coleman. I'm going to do a song tonight you probably will recognize. My wife educated me and said it's from the Three Penny Opera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Didn't know I would be doing opera, but what the heck, you know? <laughs> All right, here we go. Shark hat, such teeth, babe, and he shows it pearly white. Just a jackknife, as old McKeith, and he keeps it out of sight. You know when that shark bites with his teeth, dear. Scarlet billows start to spread. Fancy gloves, low has old Mac been. So there's never, never a trace of breath. Yeah. Uh, on the sidewalk, Sunday morning, I slide the body.
That was song for my father. Ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a treat. We're going to ask Bobby and Alva to come up and sing together for us. Alva Anderson. Bobby Alvarez. Alvarez and Alva. It had to be. Alva. <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> We dedicate this song to Amy and Chris. This is so joyful, I gotta tell you. <laughs> you know, as a result of this uh, horrible pandemic, so many of us who love to perform couldn't. There was no place to perform. And now things are starting to open up a little bit, but we still have to be careful. Uh, you know, it's coming upon flu. 
flu season. We hope everybody stays healthy. And thank you, Rosie, and thank you, Joe, again for keeping this place alive. We greatly appreciate it.
Let her go your song, so we're up on the record. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Bobby Alvarez.
Alpha Rose. Hey guys, we're gonna take a short break. We'll be right back. Thank you so much.
It's a very, very special treat for me to be able to be on this stage with these amazingly talented monster musicians. Um, I mean, they can make a guy with a kazoo sound good, so I'm, I'm really happy. And the guy that just laughed, by the way, is a professional kazoo player. You know? So um, we're going to start off this set with my dear, dear friend, who I love so much. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Ronald, Mr. Charleston Coleman.
Okay, all right. Well, this time we're going to uh, do a song that uh, <clears throat> you'll obviously quite well recognize. But um, <clears throat> it's a song that uh, Ray Charles actually made famous. And uh, back in the early 60s, during the bad old days and segregation, um, he was in uh, that state and had trouble finding some places to play. And one of the places he played, he did this song. And you might recognize it. And that song now is either the state anthem um, or very well recognized uh, as a state song.
other arms reach out to me Other eyes smile tenderly Tell in peace for the and continues to rock the house. You're going to hear a lot more from him over the coming months and the coming years. He's, uh, he's a gift to Charleston. Thank you so much, Mr. Charleston.
I'm in heaven. <laughs> Okay, I found out more about this movie. It's called New Orleans, and uh, Billie Holiday is, let's go to the air. Uh, plays a maid, but she also sings some amazing, a couple of amazing tunes in it. Do you know what it means to miss New Orleans is one of them, and this one, the blues are brewing. It's amazing, she does it, not slow, but there's so much motion. <laughs> it's amazing. I hope I do justice. Busy. 
what you ought to be doing. Love ain't got no time for blue. next number over to Jonathan Lovett and uh, hold on to your seats.
Mr. Bobby Alva Reyes.
Bobby Alva Rez. It's Alvarez. So, you know, over the years I mean, that I've been playing with Bobby, a lot of years, um, he is a, an outstanding percussionist, and he usually comes up on stage with these two gorgeous congas. And, not tonight. Uh, not tonight, but he normally does, and I promise you next time he'll have him up here. We were just concerned about the space, and now I don't really care. So <laughs> I'll go home and get him. Really, thank you so much. So, Bobby, if, you don't, if, you, if you'd like, you could stand here now. We're going to do... Uh, and you could like okay. to... Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now, this is not working out. And Dean Smith didn't bring his kazoo. I don't know what that is. No. It's with the congas. It's with the congas. I have one of my kids. Yeah, I know. Hey, do me a favor. Hold up that pocket trumpet one more time, all right? Just show it. Show it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a real instrument, all right? It's a baby. It's a baby. Isn't that gorgeous? And what a sound that makes. What a sound. Very, very sweet. All right, let's do a little uh, Lubasa.
was Blue Bus. It was gorgeous. We're going to close out this set with Alva Anderson and Bobby Alva Rez. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for coming out tonight and sharing this evening with us. It's been joyful for us, joyful for you, I hope. I think it was. And we will see you again. Let's take it home. trumpet and God knows what else is in his case. Give it up for Mr. Fred Young. On drums tonight and I can't wait to perform with him again. Let's hear it for Mr. Miller Boone. On bass, absolutely amazing, always in the pocket, a joy to be around. Mellow, fun, and incredibly talented, Mr. Brett Bellinger. Once more, Miss Alva Anderson. Mr. Bobby Alvarez. Alan, at home, I know you're watching us, so I just want to say I miss you, we love you, hope to see you soon. Mr. James Newman, we love you too. We hope to see you soon also. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been listening to the magic, the incredible talent, Mr. Jonathan Lovett. My name is Steve Simon. We are the Kings of Jazz. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you.
Thank you, Steve.